Hello. In this video, we will take a look at what defines a content management system and how it will help you change content on your website. And finally, we will also take a look at how you can log in to the Bronco back office. My name is Jonathan, and I will be your guiding voice in this video. Okay, let's first take a look at what a content management system is. A content management system, or CMS, is a software that helps you create, manage, and modify content on a website without the need for any technical knowledge. In a simple language, a content management system is a tool that helps you build a website without needing to write all the code from scratch or even know how to code at all. Instead of building your own website, creating web pages, storing images and other functions, the content management system will handle all the basic infrastructure stuff for you so that you can focus on the more forward-facing parts of your website, like creating delightful content for your visitors. Keep in mind throughout this series of videos that we will be looking at a sample website, so everyone will have different content. However, the principles and terminology will still apply on your own website. Now let's take a look at a sample website. As you can see, here is our sample website, and it has been put together using Umbraco. It contains basic content elements that we will change throughout this video. As you can see up here, we have the name of the website, we have a menu over here, and as you can see down here, we have some uh, a heading right here, and a summary, and a button with a big image behind it. If we scroll down, we can see we have a couple of products with some images and a, and a name. And if we go down, we have some testimonials, again, with an, some images and some names, and a small summary. And then in the bottom, we have the footer of our website. Awesome. So throughout this chapter, we will cover how to change and add some of this content on this website. Before we continue, there's another section of the page I want to point out. And that is the address bar. My project is just a sample website, which is why it's running on localhost with the local files on my computer. However, in your case, the URL in the address bar will instead be something like yourwebsite.com. To log in to your Umbraco website, Use the address bar and simply go to the end and write slash Umbraco. Then you will see the login page to your site and you will need to use the Umbraco credentials that you have been assigned. Enter the credentials and then you will get access to the Umbraco back office. Awesome. In the next video, we will talk about the terminology and a bit about the layout of Umbraco. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one. Jonathan out.